Hello and welcome to another episode of Friday Fly Day. It's a series by Crazy About Fly Fishing and today we are tying an essential pattern for your fly box. It is a bead head caddis pattern. You need one, so here we go. Tying this fly on size 12 Kumo Scud Hooks from Fly Ties Dungeon, distributed and available from I Love Fly Fishing. Some Gold Baby Bug Back, some Arctic Wind Zemix Frog Dubbing, some 2.8 millimeter black tungsten beads, medium copper wire rib, and some 8.0 uni thread. All right, with the bead slotted onto the hook, I'm gonna start with a thread base. I just always wrap a little bit of thread inside the bead until it stops twisting. And then I'm just gonna do a bit of a thread base. And you can have all the tight wraps you want if you want, but it doesn't make a great deal of difference with this fly. Okay, so we'll just go to around the bend a bit, about there. Okay, now the first thing we're going to tie in is our copper wire rib. Now we're tying in our copper wire rib, I'm just slotting it into the slot of the bead and then just tying it along the shank to keep it all even. Okay. And the next thing we're going to use is our baby bug back. And I'm just going to tie, cut a little bit of a taper into the end where I'm going to tie it in. It just helps with tying it in evenly. Okay, pinch that across around the hook. And we're going to do a pinch wrap, wrap it up, just catch it, catch the tip of it. Now I'm just going to use my finger and stretch it back and down along the hook as I tie it in. There we go. Nice and stretched, so it sits nice and straight on the middle of the hook so you get a nice straight back. Now, I'm gonna take my dubbing, tap that onto the thread, and instead of creating a big taper with this fly, I'm going to keep it reasonably even. Uh, Caddis flies are more of a grub shape, so not as tapered as something like a mayfly. Not that it matters a great deal. Fish tend to eat the flies anyway. I don't think they notice a little bit of taper. Okay. There we go. And a little bit more. Nice thing about this dubbing is it's nice and sparkly and scruffy, so it adds a bit of movement in the water, this fibers that stick up. Okay. Now I'm going to take this bug leg and stretch it over the back, trying to keep it in the middle. But I do want it reasonably tight, and then I'm going to tie that in. Making sure it's even yes, even as I can get it over the back. And tie it in. Okay. Now keep trying to keep it even again. I'm gonna wrap the copper wire. This often moves the baby bug back, so just check that it stays in place. Try to keep your wraps even. Maybe four or five wraps. to the head of the fly and then tie your copper wire in. And helicopter it off. Now fold that baby bug back back and stretch it, snip it off. And now I'm just going to get a small pinch of more dubbing and create a little bit of a collar. If you want, you could use a different color here, like use black dubbing or brown dubbing. I'm just going to use the same. Wrap that up, put it back a bit. Gives it a bit of extra movement. And now all I'm going to do is just put a drop of super glue on the thread. And we'll finish. 
that super glue really just helps make the whole fly a bit stronger. Okay, and just pinch and trim off the bits that are too excessive. But it's not bad having a little bit of a scruffy collar. Okay. And that's it. That is uh, my simple black bead head caddis. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed learning how to tie a beadhead caddis pattern. If you enjoyed these videos, please click the link up above with all the videos from Friday Fly Day and subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell. That way you'll get to see every new video that comes up every Friday. See you in the next one.